Okay, today I'm going to install some Moog camber adjustable bolts to replace the uh, bolt that holds the upper control arm on my uh, Volvo V50, same as S40, C30, uh, 70, so uh, probably a lot of other cars. So there's more to it than you might think, so let's get to it. You'll have to take the brake caliper off to get clearance to work on that area, unfortunately. Unfortunately, my uh, rotors are worn down to the point that there's a pretty good lip and that's keeping the uh, caliper from being able to be removed. The pads uh, are too close in. I can't adjust them. Usually you can uh, twist the caliper, get a little bit of uh, a little bit of free play, but uh, I'm just not getting it. So I'm going to have to grind the lip off a section of the rotor. You have a finished result. You can see I kind of caught the face, but that'll uh, disappear the first few uh, braking applications. Not worried. Hopefully I have enough clearance now to get the caliper off. A love tap from a hammer, but it's off. Uh, you want to suspend it with a bungee cord so you don't stress out the brake cable. But Now remove the bolt. And to make this a little easier, I'm going to put a second floor jack under the rear suspension and bring it up to bring the uh, level of the upper control arm to kind of the right level so there's very little stress on it. Uh, it'll make it much easier to get it in and back, uh, to get it out and back in at the end of the process. One thing to notice here is that this, this bracket, and all it does is hold the uh, emergency brake line uh, or the uh, the brake line rather out of the way of harm and it's a very stout piece of metal and it's got two locating tabs front and rear on the uh, that hold onto the knuckle uh, they're gonna be in the way so we're gonna have to modify this thing to make it work uh, I'll go through that later it's out and now we remove this little nut and as you can see it's welded to the knuckle so with any luck we'll be able to get it loose by grinding just that uh, that bit there um, and won't have to grind the whole thing off. Uh, I just did the other side. I did have to grind it all off, but uh, let's hope for better luck on this one. More hammer blows. It, it knocked it a little bit loose. It's, uh, it's just on the verge of coming out, so uh, can't do this with one hand, so you'll have to trust me that I did it. A little bit of a nub of welding at the bottom as well, so twisting it and bending it left it loose. So now we're left with just a little bit of cleanup work to do with an angle grinder. So I didn't get the bottom entirely perfectly clean, but it's uh, outside the diameter of the lock nut anyway, so it won't matter. Uh, that's plenty good, so we're ready to install the uh, new camber adjustment bolt. Uh, in all its glory, it's a uh, slightly smaller diameter bolt. It's got this cam arrangement on it to move things back and forth, and it's also got these little these little washered, tabbed, strongly uh, toothed uh, washers that also help locate it in the uh, car, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, now the uh, this little tab on this uh, on this this washer, I'm holding the one that is on the outside of the uh, knuckle. This is the one that actually goes into the hole. Uh, keep in mind that this hole is designed for a larger bolt, so putting it in with the tab toward the back pushes the bolt toward the outside of the car, which reduces the camber. Uh, if you want to increase the camber, you flip it around with this tab toward the outside of the car, and it pushes the bolt back and uh, tends to increase the camber. Now there's also the adjustment of that cammed portion of the bolt that comes into play, but for this purposes, since I'm trying to reduce my camber, I'm going to put it with the inside tab, the one that's inside the hole, toward the back to push the bolt forward, to push the knuckle out to reduce the camber. So uh, let's get started.
some grease to this because it's uh, gonna, there's gonna be some friction involved and you're gonna want it. Okay, sometimes it can be a little fiddly to get everything lined up and I find that I can use a big adjustable wrench on the uh, on the control arm because it's easy enough to twist to get that little bit of extra clearance you need to get the bolt started, which I have. So let's uh, continue to drive it in. Okay, those locating tabs I was talking about on this bracket um, are gonna be in the way. Normally they clip over this edge of the uh, the knuckle, uh, but because this is going to be spaced out, because this pretty thick uh, keyed washer there has to be on the inside, um, it's I'm going to have to take those locating tabs, flatten them off, so that they can ride uh, out further away from the brake caliper toward the front of the car. A few seconds with the grinder, and uh, the part is now modified to fit and I get to put it in here since I forgot to do it the first time. You just uh, turn it in, the uh, friction on the far side will be enough to grab the threads. And as you get it snug, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure and get the locating tabs uh, rotated around where you want them with the, uh, the outside visible one will be pointing toward the front and the uh, these tabs will be up on top of the knuckle, the lip on the knuckle, so it's essentially going to look like that when you get it driven all home. Uh, I need two hands though. Okay, now I'm going to turn the bolt just a little bit before everything's snug, just so you can see how the uh, you can see how the control arm is moving in and out inside the knuckle, which of course adjusts the, uh, the camber. Now what I'm looking for is I'm going to move it out as far as I can. So basically, from this perspective, I'm moving the control arm back or the knuckle out. And I'm just looking for maximum, so it's not really an alignment per se, although uh, you can adjust it to get exactly the alignment you're looking for. In my case, my car's camber is way over spec, so anything I do to reduce it is good. Everything just about snugged up. I've got the tabs both pointing forward. I've got the uh, cam action locating the uh, knuckle, top of the knuckle as far out as it can to reduce the camber. Now it's just a matter of tightening down this bolt uh, carefully. Uh, with, uh, it's a 14 millimeter on this side, a 15 millimeter on this side. Uh, and I, I'm going to leave this wrench in place and it happens to be vertical so basically that I just want to keep that exactly where it is while I tighten this one down without moving that tab. So that's a three-handed job so I have to put the camera down. All snug down, uh, adjusted, everything's right where it needs to be. So now just button it up, uh, put the rear caliper back on, uh, rear wheel, there it is all buttoned up. Uh, the bolts in place, adjusted properly, brake lines are properly secured and where they ought to be, caliper back in place and ready to button it up.